and welcome back to Cooking with Sonia. We are making apple pie and we are starting by peeling these apples. Now this is a, an apple that has had chemicals on it, so it is not nearly as nice as the apples from behind Grenwald, which we, are be, we will be using today. Please notice how these ladies are cutting them into thin slices. Show a thin slice. Look at that. So nice, so nice, <laughs> so nice. Well, um, please make sure you cut and be careful that you do not injure um, a finger or cut it off. And uh, we will come back and we'll make sure you guys are doing a good job. So keep cutting those apples. Hello, just making sure that you all are cutting your apples correctly. So remember to take your knife <laughs> and your apple and to gently cut down through the middle without cutting your fingers off. And then you want to make sure you get a thin slice, just like that. Thin enough so that way when you bake it, it'll bake quickly and then you can put it in your bowl. All right, oh, we have more people. <laughs> Say hello <laughs> to our viewing audiences. Lift up on the door, lift up. Oh, oh tricky. <laughs> Hello, who is our viewing audience? Anyone on Facebook or YouTube or Blogspot. <laughs> okay, well thank you. We'll see you guys after a while. Hello and welcome back. We are working on making our pie crust right now. So, first when you make your pie crust, you want to use your leftover barley wheat, which my friend Dominique will add to the bowl. Because you have barley wheat left over from last week's. Look at all that barley wheat, so nice. Mmm, okay. Thank you, Dominique. You can come on so they can see you. Okay, good. And then you want to make sure and use the rest of your new flour that you just bought, which Sveta has. And please note how white flour is spelled. Hold it up so they can see it real close. There you go. That's how you spell white flour, in case you uh, go to the grocery store. So you want to add some. Oh, look at all that. Okay, not too, there you go. Right, you want to add three cups of white flour or barley wheat flour, whichever one you want to use. And then after you have your flour, you want to make sure and add one teaspoon of salt, which our friend Vanessa has some salt. Look at her add that so gently. Oh, sprinkle, sprinkle, <laughs> sprinkle. Okay, so then you want to use your margarine, or in our case, we don't have margarine. We want to use could. Big soil. This one. That one, right there. So you just add open, enough in open, there. Open, oh, open. just be careful. There we go. I'm gonna it all out at one time. <laughs> okay. So after you have your margin, margarine, you want to make sure and add your cold water. But before you get to cold water, you can't forget your sugar. For the sugar lovers of you out there, just dainty, dainty. Nice. Thank you so much, Taylor. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Not too much. And then you want to add some water, stirring it lightly with a fork, which we didn't do, but that's okay. You don't have to. You can just mix it all up at one time if you want. And then um, here in the background, we have, <clears throat> we have Kaiser who is rolling it out. Kaiser, you just want to give a shout out? There you go. Hi. <laughs> she's, she's been working diligently rolling out the pie uh, dough after you make it into a nice ball. And uh, you want to roll it out so you can fill in your pie crust. So we will be working on that next. So stay tuned and see how it goes. Hello, we have finished our pie crust, which we decided to, instead of rolling out, um, Alessandra decided that it would probably be better, and I quite agree with her, to do it the good old fashioned way and push it in. Plus, we added a little too much flour and it got a little tough, so it was easier to do it that way. So, um, we have pushed it in, as you can see, and we have a good base layer. Next, we're going to be adding our apples, and um, we'll have a thin layer of apples, and then a thin layer of sugar, sort of like apple pie lasagna, perhaps you could think of it as. So, let's go ahead and, um, Kaiza, you want to go ahead and bring our first layer of apples in? Oh, when the studio audience is taking so many pictures. Okay, good. A little bit more. We want to make a thin layer along the bottom. And as we have lots of apples here from Grenville. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, okay. These are our apples from Grenville. Next, our thin layer of sugar brought to us by um, Julian, who is going to turn so you, the audience, can see him. 
<laughs> yeah, there we go. Then we'll, we can just uh, more maybe sugar. sprinkle. Because it's the first layer, we don't want to put too much because it's going to drip down. So we'll take some out. <laughs> okay, that's good for our first layer. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Julian. Next, we have another layer of apples. Like, oh, there we go. Okay. Oh. All right, thank you, Vanessa, for bringing us some more apples. We have lots of apples. I think we're going to have to make a lot of apple pies. Or strudels. Mmm, everyone loves apples. Apple strudel. There we go. So we've got another good layer of apples. Let's put some more in the corners, filling it in completely. No empty space. And you can be heard if you're talking. You can be heard. That's all I'm going to say about that. Okay, so let's have another layer of sugar. Come on in. Who's got the sugar? You don't have a sugar on my It wasn't an earthquake, it was just the table moving. Don't worry. No earthquakes in Norway yeah, yet. A little bit sugar. Mm -hmm. There we go. Sprinkle. It's more fun if you use your fingers. Really? Okay, I will use my fingers. <laughs> it's really fun. All right, good. Now let's get another layer of apples. Where should go? Tak. All right. And then we have Taylor bringing us some apples. Here we go. Let's sprinkle those so in. Many mm, so many good types of apples. And the sugar. It's nice to use different varieties <laughs> as you make your apple pie. Let's keep going. No. Okay. There we go. Now let's go ahead and use the rest of our sugar. Julian, the sugar. Daddy. <laughs> sugar man. I crack myself up. Okay, we're just going to use all the rest of the sugar, so go ahead and layer it in. You want to back up a little so your head's all in shot? Them. Well, we have to put the rest of it in. Okay. All of it? All of it, yes. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. There we go. Putting it all, filling in all the cracks. Using the fingers, much more fun, much more fun. All right. Get, there we go. There we go. Now remember, if during this process you need the break, take the break. It's okay. All right. Tack. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, we have a very, very full pie crust, or pie. And next, we will be putting the layers on, and you will see the finished results. So stay tuned to see how it turns out. Oh, stay in tune. Still staying? Okay. Fake smile. <laughs> it's not a fake smile. Hi, <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> All right, well, um, if you can smell now, go ahead and scratch your screen. It's just snap, a snap, scratch and sniff screen. You can smell the pie baking in the oven on, um, what is it, 118.3333334. Um, so make sure you turn your knob appropriately. And it's in Celsius, so... Um, go ahead and put that in the oven and let it bake for about 40 minutes, which is the step we're at right now. But because it's getting late in our evening, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up now. So, um, would everyone please come in, have an apple slice, because we have a lot left over from Grenville. So come on in, everybody. We're going to say goodbye. Gather in close. Have an apple. Bye. Mm. Bye. Yeah. Oh, so good. Cooking with Sonia and friends. Which is really nice fun. Hello, and here is our finished product. Fresh apple pie. Can't turn it too much. There we go. And it is fresh out of the oven. So I just want to say thank you to all of you who helped me make it. And I want to say if you have any ideas for future things that need to be cooked on Cooking with Sonia and Friends, please send me an email to S Reeves. That's S R E A. V E S at Southern S O U T H E R N dot E D U. Thank you for your contributions. We can't wait to hear from you. Bye bye.